What's up guys, welcome to another video. Now today what I'm gonna do is show you how you can transfer data from your old phone to your brand new Samsung S23 device. And I'm gonna show you how to do this on an Android phone and on an iPhone. So whether you're coming from an iOS device or an Android, we're gonna cover both. So let's get right into it. All right, now the easiest way to transfer data from your old phone to your new phone is during the initial setup of your phone. So if you've already set up your phone, but now you want to go back and transfer all of your data, I'm gonna show you exactly what to do to factory reset your phone and go back to that initial setup wizard. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to your phone's settings, scroll all the way down to about phone, and then scroll down to where it says reset, tap reset, and then select factory reset data. Scroll down all the way to the bottom, tap reset, put in your phone's pin, hit delete all, and then enter the password for your Samsung account. Tap OK and just give your phone a minute to reset. It's going to do a factory reset, delete everything off of your phone and bring you back to that initial setup wizard. All right, so our phone has now done a factory reset and this is the exact same screen you will see if you are setting up your phone for the first time after you unboxed it. So we're going to hit start and at this point we can insert our SIM from our old phone. So I'm just going to do that. And now we can agree to these license agreements. You don't need to agree to sending the diagnostics data. You can leave that one off, but you need to agree to these two and then we can hit agree. And now you can see it says set up using another device. And down here we have the choice between a Galaxy or Android device and an iPhone or an iPad. So first we're gonna do this on our Android device. So I have my Pixel 6 Pro here. And one thing you're gonna need to do on your Android device is install the Samsung Smart Switch app. So I already have it on this phone, but all you need to do is go over to your Play Store and install Samsung Smart Switch Mobile. It's just going to make the whole process much easier. And once you've got it installed, just go ahead and open it up. You'll need to agree to a whole bunch of uh, permissions. So just go ahead and do that. But once you're done, you should be able to select your Android device. And you can actually see I'm already getting prompted here because it knows that I'm trying to do a data transfer to a new phone. So I'm just gonna hit setup now. I'm gonna hit Android device on here. You can actually scan the, this QR code using your camera app. So there you go. I'm gonna do that. And you can see it's asking me to verify myself. From here on out, all you need is your S23 Ultra. You can see it says getting your phone ready. It's gonna take a few minutes. And there you go, now it says, copy um, all my apps and data. So we're just gonna hit next on here. And here it says we use that smart switch app to copy all of our apps. We already have this set up. So we're just gonna allow all the permissions. And now we have the choice between using a cable or transferring all of our data wirelessly. Now you can use a cable. It will be much uh, faster that way. But if you have a lot of data and you have maybe an old phone and you don't think that that phone's battery will be able to last through the transfer process, you can select wirelessly and then keep your phones plugged into a power source or you can select cable if your battery is just fine and you want to do it quicker. So I am going to select cable and then I'm gonna grab the cable that came in the S23 Ultra box. All right, so I got both my phones connected and you can see right here on my old phone, it says allow smart switch to access uh, my Galaxy S23 Ultra. So I'm just gonna say, okay. And now it's going to ask us on here what we want to transfer. So we can select everything and you can see we have 27 gigabytes of data on this phone and it will take about 25 minutes. We can also select just calls, contacts and messages, which will take about one minute. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna hit custom and then hit next. And then in here you see we have all of these options that we can transfer to our new phone. And what's really nice is we can get really granular about what it is that we want to transfer. So if we hit this little arrow here next to messages, you can see we get a choice between the last 30 days, three months, six months, one year or two years. So if we want all of our messages, we can just select all, or maybe we just want the last 30 days, we can tap that. You can do the same thing for your apps. If you hit this little arrow, you can see all of the apps that are installed on your own old phone. And you can go in through here and just deselect what you no longer want, or you can just hit this button up here to deselect everything and then select only the apps that you want to retain on your new phone. So I'm just gonna hit all and then hit done. You can see we have images here as well. So if we tap on that, you can see on my camera roll, you know, I have all of my documents, all of my downloaded images. You can go through here and just really select everything that you want to transfer specifically. So go ahead and do that. And then once you're done, just hit done, select everything else that you want, and then just tap transfer. And then you'll see if it is unable to transfer anything. So it says that we can't transfer data from these apps. So what we can do is back up them instead. 
I'm just gonna hit next here. And now it's just going to transfer everything in the background and take you through the rest of the setup wizard. So here it's talking about Google services. So you can go ahead and deselect anything that you don't need in here and then tap accept. And then on this next page, we can set up our biometrics on our passwords or any pins that we wanna create. So let's say we wanna create a pin to unlock our phone. We can just do that here, uh, use it anyway, and then verify that pin. Next, we can set up our smart assistant. So if you wanna use Hey Google as your AI, you can set that up here. Uh, I'm just gonna skip this for now. And then here it's asking us if we want any of these additional apps. So obviously there's a whole bunch of Samsung applications. I don't know if you want all these. A lot of people just consider these bloatware. So just go ahead through here, uh, deselect what you don't want and keep what you do want. And then once you're done, just scroll down to the bottom and hit okay. Same thing here, you can see it's just recommending a few apps for us. If you don't need these, just deselect them, hit next. Then on this page, it's asking you to create a Samsung account. I highly suggest you guys set up a Samsung account. You can see right there, if you opt out and you don't create a Samsung account, you kind of lose out on a lot of really cool features. So I definitely highly suggest you guys create one if you don't have one and then sign into one if you do have one. But I'm going to skip this for now uh, because you can do it through the settings later. Then we have all these different Samsung services. Again, there's a whole bunch of stuff on here that if you don't really need it, you can go ahead and disable it. I really don't care about any of this stuff on here, but you can see now it says you're all set up. So we're gonna tap finish and it will take you to your home screen, but the data is still being transferred from our old phone. So if you unlock our phone, you can see transferring data to your new phone. So the transfer isn't quite yet complete. So all you need to do is just let your phone finish transferring. All right, so that took maybe around 20 minutes, but you can see now it says your data is finished, finished transferring. And now you can tap, go to home screen. And now pretty much all of your data is transferred. You can see that it's just organizing all our stuff, but it says you can now disconnect the USB cable. So we no longer need our old phone. All the data is now transferred over to our new phone. You can see there's just another minute left for everything to be updated. So let's just give it another minute. And now everything is set up. You can see most of my applications are now on my phone, but it will take a little bit longer. You can see it's still installing some apps. Depending on how many applications you are transferring over, it can take uh, a little bit of time, but it's just going to automatically install everything on your phone. And if we go over to my photos, you can see that it did actually transfer all my videos, all my photos. Uh, albums and pretty much everything is now on my new phone. All we need to do is wait for the apps to finish installing and you've successfully transferred all of your data from your old phone to your new Samsung phone. Now let's do the same thing on the iPhone. All right, guys, so we've done another factory reset on our phone, and now we're back to the initial setup wizard on the Samsung phone. So for this part of the video, we're gonna transfer everything from our iPhone to our new Samsung device. So what we're gonna do is hit start, and you can see it says it's asking you to insert your SIM card. So what we're gonna do is take our SIM card out of our iPhone, plug it into our Samsung device, and now we can continue. So here we have to agree to the license agreement and the uh, privacy policy, but we don't have to agree to sending any of our diagnos diagnostics data. This part is optional. So just tap these two and then you can hit agree to move on to the next page. And down here we can select our iPhone. Now just connect to your Wi-Fi. Okay, so now it's asking us to sign into our Google account. You can go ahead and do that now, or you can do it later. I'm gonna do it later just because I don't know my password. It's managed by my password manager. So I'm just gonna skip it for now, but you can do this later. Or if you know your password, just go ahead and do that now and then just hit next. I'm just gonna hit skip. And now we get to the copy apps and data page. If we don't want to copy, we're gonna hit don't copy. But obviously for the sake of this video, we do wanna copy our data. So we're gonna hit next. And now it's going to ask us to connect our two phones using a USB-C to lightning cable. So just make sure you have one of these cable where it's USB-C on one end and then lightning on the other and connect your two phones. All right, so once you've got them connected, you can see on the iPhone, it's asking you if you trust this device. So we're just gonna hit trust and then we're gonna enter our pin and then tap next on the Samsung device. And now it's just going to start scanning our iPhone. All right, so there you go. Now you can see it's giving us all these options to transfer from our old iPhone. So what's really nice is you can go ahead and actually select or deselect all of these. And if you wanna get more granular and only copy specific things, you can actually tap on these little arrows here and it will give you more options. So for example, under messages, we can tap on that and you can see it gives us an option between the last 30 days, so three months, six months, one year or two years, or you can just transfer all of your messages. I'm gonna hit all and you can do the same thing for apps. Now, because 
all these apps on my phone are iOS apps. What it's going to do is download the Android equivalent. And if there is no Android equivalent, it's just not going to download these apps. But to do this, you do need to sign in to your Google account, which is what I skipped earlier. So be sure you do that if you did skip it, so if you want to transfer all of those apps. Then just go through the rest of these and select everything you want to transfer. So any of your images, videos, all of your settings, anything that you want to transfer from your old phone. I'm just gonna have everything selected and then tap transfer because I want to transfer all of my data. And once you hit that, it's going to begin transferring all of your data. And while it's doing that in the background, it's actually going to ask you to set up your phone and go through that whole setup wizard uh, while it's transferring all the data. So just go through the rest of these steps and uh, just get your phone set up. So we're gonna deselect everything here. We're gonna accept all these uh, terms. You can set up your face recognition, your fingerprint, your pin. So let's say we want to create a pin for this phone. We'll just do one, two, three, four, and then repeat that pin. And then here, Samsung just offers you any additional apps. So obviously Samsung has a bunch of their own apps. Um, if you don't want any of them, you can just deselect them. And then at the bottom, just hit okay. And then again, it's just asking you for some recommended apps. Again, if you don't want these, just deselect them, tap next. And then here it's just going to ask you to create a Samsung account. Now, if you don't have a Samsung account, I highly suggest you uh, create one because you get a, a access to a lot of really awesome features like, you know, being able to share a lot of your data with other Samsung users. Uh, most importantly, you get the Find My Mobile Network. So if you ever lose your phone, you can track it, you can ping it, and you can remote wipe any data. If it does get stolen, you get access to the Galaxy Store, Secure Folder, Samsung Internet, just a lot of really great uh, features, even Samsung Cloud to store all your data in the cloud. So if you don't have a Samsung account, highly suggest uh, you create one. But for now, I'm just going to skip. And then here we get the option for a few more Samsung services. You can read through these and disable them if you don't want any of them, but I'm just gonna hit agree. And then here you get the option between using swipe gestures and buttons on your screen. So if you're coming from an iPhone, you're probably already used to using swipe gestures, uh, but if you want buttons down here like that, you can always select that. I'm just gonna stick with swipe gestures because I like them a lot more. And then here you get to select whether you want home and app screen or just your home screen only. I'm just gonna select home screen only and then hit next. Then on this page, it just asks you what type of layout keyboard you want. So there's the more minimalistic kind of keyboard and then you have the one with a little bit more functionality. So just choose whichever one you want and then tap next. And you can see we're all set up. So now if we tap finished, it's just going to take us to our home page on our phone. You can see everything is loading up. So now our phone is pretty much usable. We can start scrolling around, playing with the application, changing the settings, but do keep your phones plugged in because as you can see in the background, the data transfer isn't complete yet. It says we got about 30 minutes to go. So make sure you don't disconnect your phone because it is still transferring all the data in the background, but your phone is usable. And at this point, all you really need to do is put your phone down and go and take a break for 30 minutes. And when you come back, all of your data is gonna have been transferred from your iPhone to your new Samsung device. But that's pretty much everything you need to do to transfer your data from your old Android device or your old iPhone to your new Samsung phone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.